Hi, we're here with Barry O'Sullivan, Senior Vice President and General Manager of the Collaboration and Communications Group at Cisco, to ask him a few questions about two things close to his heart, collaboration and mobility. So Barry, as a senior executive, you travel frequently, so you know a bit about working away from your desk. What are your thoughts about the way enterprise businesses are trending towards supporting mobile workers? Well, it's a huge trend. The global population of mobile workers exceeded 1 billion in 2010, and we expect more than a third of the global workforce will be mobile information workers by 2013. And it's not just about being on the road, it's also being mobile within the enterprise as well. Now, it's good business then to enable mobile workers with the tools and resources they need wherever they are, wherever they work from. And when we talk about enabling mobile collaboration at Cisco, we're talking about helping enterprise employees communicate collaborate and compute from a mobile device. So it's not just about voice and email, it means a full suite of collaboration capabilities that includes high quality video, telepresence, web conferencing, desktop sharing, also comprehensive communications capabilities like presence, instant messaging, voice and video, desktop virtualization to enable pe people to compute anywhere with any time connectivity. Now, not every mobile employee needs every one of these tools, it's true, but today's mobile worker is often hampered and frustrated by having to go back into the office for this and that. They can get some of their capabilities on the road and some when they're in the office. They want to be able to access everything everywhere, and they can be much more efficient and productive if they're given the right tools. Now, Cisco plays in nearly every one of those areas. Our strategy is clear. With mobile collaboration, our strategy is to enable applications on all the major mobile platforms. We want to light them all up with our collaborations capabilities, whether it's the iPhone or the iPad, Android devices, Samsung, RIM, Nokia, etc. For example, Cisco WebEx was one of the first business applications designed specifically for the iPad 2 with high quality video, two-way video, and of course WebEx is available on other platforms too. Cisco Jabber, our instant messaging and unified client, Cisco Quad, our enterprise social software platform, all of these apps are available and have been downloaded hundreds of thousands of times. And we're going to keep on making these applications available on multiple platforms, giving users and IT the choice with a focus on best-in-class experience. Great, but besides developing mobile versions of the collaboration applications in your portfolio, Cisco has its own mobility device in the tablet space as well, the Cisco CS, right? Absolutely right, Therese. Uh, CS is on schedule. We've already begun accepting orders and shipping tablets to our customers. And since it was announced, we've said CS is really different from consumer tablets. It's a mobile collaboration device. It's designed specifically with businesses in mind. So now IT departments get the assurances they need with tablet security policy and management controls. CS is secured from the chipset all the way up the stack. So unlike other tablets, if your CS is lost or stolen, no one can extract any information. Now for users, Cisco CS delivers power in a very compact design. It comes with a contact-driven user experience so it's easy to use. It's people-centric. So whether you're at a wired campus, roaming in a building, working at home with 802.11 Wi-Fi, and soon on the road with 3G, 4G, Cisco CS can support your needs. And since it's based on Android operating system, there are hundreds of thousands of applications the CS can run. And businesses, lots of businesses we're talking to are developing their own custom applications that they can then host on their own custom store. That's very powerful. Hmm. So how is CS different from other tablets from the user point of view? Well, we built CS to be a true mobile collaboration device, not just a tablet. So all the capabilities I mentioned earlier, compute, collaboration, communications capabilities, that's how we set, what we set out to do with the mobile enterprise worker in mind. So with CS, you get a superior integrated experience, and I'll explain what I mean by that, because the comprehensive capabilities are natively integrated into the tablet. Let me give you an example. You can check your calendar or read an email to see you have a meeting to join. And with one button push, you can join a WebEx conference and get a call back on your CS. If you're scheduled for a telepresence meeting, you can participate fully using the high definition capabilities of the CS. Or from an email, you can click the person's name or photograph and call that person without having to manually go and switch applications. That's a big issue. No other tablet can do that. To do what I just said on another tablet, even if the applications were available, would mean opening and closing multiple apps, one for every function. 
There's also desktop computing. And here again, Cisco has got a unique offering. We give IT their choice of desktop virtualization clients from people like Wise, Citrix, VMware for access to your Windows desktop wherever you are. And while connectivity is almost ubiquitous, if you can't access your network, we also have local applications that can help you remain productive. That sounds cool. So you said people are already starting to get their CS tablets now? Yes, we're already shipping CS tablets to key customer accounts with unique use cases as part of our ramp up to production deployments, just as we had announced. And now if you want more information on any of the technologies I talked about today, including Cisco CS, please visit cisco.com for more information. That's great. Thanks, Barry. Thank you.